Next year, 2026 could mark humanity's first real steps toward Mars. Elon Musk has just revealed a timeline for Starship missions to the Red Planet, signaling that preparations are not only underway, but speeding up fast. So what will it take to make this vision a reality? Let's break it down right here on today's episode of Great SpaceX. We've entered 2025 with high expectations, and incredibly, some of those goals have already been surpassed. Yet, despite this progress, significant challenges remain and several major milestones are still incomplete. These setbacks have led to growing doubts about SpaceX's most ambitious objective, Mars. Let's take a moment to remember what SpaceX set out to achieve. Last year, Musk outlined an aggressive plan. Five uncrewed Starship missions to Mars by 2026, followed by crewed missions in 2028. Musk also noted that those crewed flights could be pushed to 2029 or 2030, depending on technical and logistical challenges. This year, those targets remain unchanged. Musk has reiterated his commitment to launching the first Mars-bound missions by the end of 2026 with the goal of sending Tesla's humanoid robot, Optimus, aboard one of them. Human landings are still on the horizon for the late 2020s to early 2030s. The problem? Starship is still facing a number of technical issues and many question whether the timeline is realistic. Surprisingly, Musk isn't backing down. On the contrary, during his presentation following the Flight 9 mission, he doubled down on his original timeline. He even provided more clarity on how the Mars plan will unfold. According to Musk's slide, the Mars campaign will officially begin in 2026. The first step, five uncrewed Starship landers. These landers will be the vanguard of SpaceX's interplanetary journey, and while five missions are planned, Musk left open the possibility of more flights to improve success rates. Each of these interplanetary launches will also require multiple tanker missions beforehand to refuel the starships in Earth orbit. These initial Mars missions will be cargo only and are expected to carry important payloads for establishing a basic infrastructure. One of the most intriguing payloads is Tesla's Optimus robot, which Musk highlighted both in a previous tweet from March and again during the presentation. The Optimus robot is designed to perform essential tasks autonomously on Mars, handling basic operations that would otherwise require human presence. Its deployment could be as groundbreaking as the unforgettable first Falcon Heavy flight in 2018. The goal of these early missions is clear, that is, to demonstrate that Starship can reach Mars, deliver minimal but functional vehicles, and prove out technology technology is critical to Mars transit and surface operations. In essence, these flights are test beds for a future where humans live and work on the Red Planet. Interestingly, the expectations for cargo weight on these missions are modest, only around 10 tons per launch. That's enough to deliver small rovers, basic instruments, and lightweight equipment. The focus is less on volume and more on proving viability. Given the scope of these plans, SpaceX would need to conduct one launch per month over at least five months to complete the Mars-bound missions within the next launch window. That suggests the launch phase should begin by mid-2026 at the latest. This means the first half of 2026 and the remainder of 2025 must be devoted entirely to preparation. That preparation includes building and qualifying flight-ready starships and boosters, developing mission-specific payloads, refining ground and orbital refueling systems, and upgrading the launch infrastructure at Starbase and beyond. SpaceX must also validate long-duration life support and thermal protection systems, particularly for interplanetary travel and harsh Martian conditions. So what do you think? Is reaching Mars in 2026 a realistic goal? Respond with yes or no in the comments section down below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel to keep following SpaceX's incredible journey to Mars. For me, everything is possible. But for that vision to become reality, SpaceX must make very specific and focused preparations, starting right now. As previously mentioned, 2026 is the target for the first uncrewed Starship missions to Mars. And the groundwork for that begins this year. Every milestone SpaceX achieves in the coming months will directly influence the success of next year's interplanetary flights. First, SpaceX must gain complete operational mastery over Starship. That journey continues in the second half of 2025, beginning with the upcoming Flight 10. This mission will have to demonstrate flawless performance during ascent, stage separation, and return. The Super Heavy booster must either splash down successfully, or even better, be recovered using the Mechazilla arms. Achieving a stable, reliable performance from the booster, especially the Raptor engines, is critical. 
As for the ship stage, after separation, its engines must function consistently to ensure proper orbital maneuvers and payload deployment. This leads us to the PEZ door system, an essential component for future missions. This mechanism must be refined to safely deploy cargo, including those that will be used for Mars exploration and orbital refueling. One of the most critical aspects to test will be the reignition of the ship's engines in space. This capability is fundamental to fuel transfer and return operations, both of which are key for Mars missions. Additionally, re-entry and landing procedures must be validated using the flaps for control and stability. This will set the foundation for future Mars landings. Beyond that, SpaceX must also conduct secondary tests during flight, such as higher angle of attack entries, landing without full engine functionality, and evaluating upgrades to the heat shield system. All of these are vital for handling Martian conditions. Once these milestones are achieved, SpaceX will shift its focus to one of the program's core elements, full reusability. This includes catching both the booster and the ship using the Mechazilla arms. It's an ambitious goal, but it's central to lowering costs and increasing the cadence of missions needed for Mars and beyond. Another major development in 2025 is the transition to Starship V3. We've already seen early hardware for this version, B-18 and S-39, and B-18 is nearing completion. Starship V3 will feature a larger structure, improved capabilities, and higher performance. More importantly, it'll serve as the foundation for the specialized starships designed for Mars operations and orbital refueling. One major upgrade that comes with V3 is the Raptor engine, which Musk has described as a massive leap forward in efficiency and thrust. All of these upgrades lead toward a bigger objective, testing and refining the orbital refueling system. As Musk emphasized, this will be one of the most critical technologies for making Mars missions possible. SpaceX is expected to conduct launches that demonstrate in-space fuel transfers first between tankers and later to Mars-bound ships. In parallel, Mars-specific prototypes must be built and tested. Mars presents unique challenges, such as a thin atmosphere and intense thermal re-entry conditions. Heat shield durability will be especially important. The ceramic tiles, which have undergone years of development, will finally be put to the test in real Mars-focused configurations. To support this demanding pace, SpaceX must also expand and upgrade its ground infrastructure. New launch pads are being constructed, particularly in Florida, while existing facilities are being modified to meet the increasing demand. At Starbase, Pad A may soon be reconfigured with upgraded systems similar to those used at Pad B. Additionally, the production and testing infrastructure is set to grow. SpaceX plans to build Gigabay facilities in both Florida and Starbase to accelerate vehicle assembly and testing cycles. All of this needs to happen within the next year before the launch campaign begins in mid-2026. The workload is massive and the timeline is tight, but if there's any team capable of doing the impossible, it's SpaceX. They've done it before, now they aim to do it again, this time with Mars in their sights. Do you believe in the mission? Let me know in the comments section down below. And now, let's look further into the future, beyond the 2026 uncrewed Mars missions. According to Musk, if everything proceeds smoothly with the initial landings, crewed missions to Mars could begin as early as 2028. If delays occur, they may instead take place sometime between 2029 and 2031. Regardless of the exact timeline, the prospect of sending humans to another planet represents a monumental achievement on par with the moon landings of the 20th century. It's important to remember that this won't be a one-company effort. While SpaceX is leading the charge with its Starship program, other major players are also entering the Martian race. NASA continues to support commercial partnerships and research, and China is actively pursuing its own ambitions, including a Mars sample return mission planned for later this decade, with a return to Earth expected in the early 2030s. In the presentation Musk recently gave, Several key future milestones were outlined, with target dates in 2028 to 2029, 2030 to 2031, and 2033. These timeframes are strategically spaced roughly 26 months apart, aligning with optimal launch windows for missions to Mars. Starting with the 2028-2029 window, the number of Starship landers is expected to grow to 20, each capable of delivering approximately 75 tons of cargo. At that point, the expected launch frequency will reach 1-2 to two missions per month. The goal during this period is to land foundational infrastructure, assess the availability of in situ resources, prepare safe and reliable landing zones, and begin delivering equipment needed for human habitation. If everything goes according to plan, this could mark the beginning of the first crewed Mars missions. But 
If not, the timeline shifts to the 2030 to 2031 window. During this phase, SpaceX plans to launch up to 100 landers, each capable of carrying 150 tons of cargo. The focus will expand significantly to include large-scale resource utilization, fuel production from Martian materials, construction of roads and landing pads, the building of habitats, and deployment of more robust power and storage systems. In many ways, this period could be the most intense and foundational phase of Mars colonization. Looking further ahead to 2033, Musk envisions a fleet of up to 500 starships, each with an upgraded payload capacity of 300 tons. By this point, operations on Mars will begin shifting from experimentation to long-term sustainability. The priorities will include maximizing independence from Earth, establishing global mobility on Mars, mining and processing local resources, and setting up interplanetary communication systems. This may also be the first time we see regular human travel between Earth and Mars begin to take shape. Musk's slide, showing Starship carrying 300 tons of payload by 2033, implies a future version of Starship that goes well beyond the V3 currently in development, likely a V4 or even a completely new design. I'll explore that possibility in more depth in a future episode. One thing is becoming clear, however, humanity's path to the Red Planet is no longer theoretical. The outlines are taking shape. With milestones now planned well into the next decade, we're looking at one of the most ambitious undertakings in human history. And it all begins in 2026. That will be the turning point, the year when everything either begins to come together or faces the ultimate test. So, will 2026 be remembered as the year Elon Musk's boldest vision became a historic reality? Or is it just another ambitious dream waiting to be delayed? Only time will tell, but either way, we should prepare ourselves now, because what's coming may just redefine what it means to be human. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly on the latest milestones in SpaceX's journey. Thank you so much for watching, and always remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will always follow you, so long as you keep looking up.